Edgar, run away. Come on, man. Chase the stone. No, don't chase the old guy. Chase the stone. He's not cooperating. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm going to start a new, what will probably be a mini-series, and I'm going to bring back something I have not done for uh, since, like, Alpha 16, maybe 17, <clears throat> and I'm going to bring back Dead is Dead. Uh, no, actually, that's not true. I think I did some Dead is Dead on 18 and 19, too. Basically, permadeath is what this is. Um, I'm... I'm pretty much finished. Well, no, not pretty much. I am finished with the Apocalypse Ranger series. I think um, I think I'm done with that. You know, we've we we took it as far as I wanted to, to take it, and so I want to try something new. Uh, it was my intention to start uh, a new series with Rebirth, but for some reason I cannot find Rebirth on uh, Seven Days to Die mods or Nexus. It seems to have been removed for some reason and i have no idea why which is kind of disappointing because that's you know what i had planned to do next here after uh, ranger apocalypse or apocalypse ranger i should say um so we're gonna just kind of do some dead is dead um in the interim until i figure out you know what i'm gonna do for the next major series and i don't know maybe this will turn out to be um you know longer term than i'm anticipating depends upon how much fun i'm having with it and how much fun you guys uh, have watching it. Okay. So, um, here's the deal with dead is dead. So basically the rule is we have one life to live and if we die, that's it. Um, <clears throat> we have to start completely over again. Um, the only thing that doesn't count is if I die due to some kind of a glitch or a technical issue. Uh, but if I die to my own stupidity or just, you know, due to regular gameplay, then that's it. It's over. And we have to start over with a new life. Um, so again, this works for me as long as I approach it as kind of a temporary thing. I mean, the goal being, let's just see how far we can get. Um, it's not something that I would want to do all of the time just because it kind of sucks to be honest with you to make us, you know, get to a certain point in the game of progress and then <laughs> die and have to start all over again. So the point really is to, uh, you know, just to see how far along we can get. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to use our usual setting. So uh, we're going to be on insane difficulty. Uh, we're going to, I'm still going to use 90 minute days like I always do. Um, and then uh, this is just going to be a private server here because it's just me. Um, and then, you know, the basic stuff is the usual thing. Uh, we will do a 64 enemy blood moon camp, but I'm just going to keep it at seven days. And I think what, what we'll do is we'll see if we can make it to day 21. Uh, through through the end of day 21. So the goal here is the short-term goal is, you know, make it all the way through the end of day 21. And then after that, if we do happen to survive with just one life, you know, then I guess we decide at that point if we if we continue on with the playthrough or if we try out, you know, uh, a different map or and, and or different rules. Okay, so uh, with that being said, we will keep that on. Um, we're going to put the Zombos all on nightmare speed like we always do. Um, Feral Sense will be on at nighttime only. I'm going to put the XP multiplier on this to 200%. In the Apocalypse Ranger series, I had it on 300% and it was just a little too fast. It was nice to build a level quickly, but it also meant that we had uh, more dangerous hordes more quickly. So, you know, there was definitely a trade-off there. So I'm going to, I'm going to bump this down to 200%. Um, but not do 100% because 100% is just, it's too grindy. Okay, plus I've already done a 100% um, playthrough on uh, on Alpha 21. Anyways, vanilla playthrough. Okay, so uh, on the advanced here, um, pretty much all of this is going to stay the same. Uh, I'm going to turn airdrops off. They're just, they're just not really that worth it to me. I, in Alpha 21, airdrops kind of suck. They're just not that great. They're okay, but, you know, uh, we're just going to turn them off for this playthrough. And not worry about that. And then, yeah, there we go. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that I am playing this on the Navisgain X21 map. So basically, this is a a map that is 10K. 
and has much larger cities, but it's still based upon the original Navisgain map. And credit for that goes to uh, Dirk Killer Gaming. He's the one that made this map, and I'm, I'm using this off of the Seven, Seven Days to Die Mods website. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it's uh, it's Navisgain reimagined, basically. So larger, larger Navisgain map with larger cities. That's essentially what it is. So it should be fun. And uh, we'll use this, you know, at least for the first playthrough. And maybe if, if I really like it, uh, you know, maybe we'll use it for subsequent attempts at uh, Dead is Dead as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let's click the start button and see how things go. Uh, again, our our main goal is to get through the end of day 21 without dying once. And if we can do that, then we will decide at that point if... You know what to do from there if we continue on with this playthrough or we start a new one with some different rules and or on a different map uh that sort of thing <clears throat> and we'll you know we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but uh, it's not my intention for this playthrough to be you know like an 80 80 to 100 episode playthrough like some of my previous ones have been we made it to i guess what 79 episodes on apocalypse ranger and yeah i could have i could have done a few more but i just felt like you know what i, I think I think it's time to move on to something else, if for no other reason, for my own sanity. Um, okay, so I'll see you guys when uh, the game starts. I should mention to you guys also that I have no other mods running, so this is pure vanilla. The only thing that's modded is the map itself. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and move a couple things over here. We don't need the note. Uh, we don't need the land claim block. We'll put the medical here. Actually, we'll switch those two things. Put the chili in there. We'll use this um, as a weapon uh, for the moment. And, you know, as usual, we will go through and do the opening quest, get the bedroll down, get all that stuff made, get our first four points. So let's just run through that very quickly here. There's no point in keeping the bedroll with us because once we die, it's all over but the crying, baby. So we don't even need to worry about setting a spawn point. Okay, let's check these things here. Uh, well, look at that, a Forge Ahead book already. My goodness, wow. Uh, and I'm going to take the stone. That was actually a very useful find this early on. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and get the stone axe made next. We need to craft some wood. We can now make the axe... You guys know the drill. We've all done this a million times. You know, something that I was um, thinking about doing just for fun is to do like a little a nostalgia series. Because if you guys ever have ever looked on Steam at the betas for this game, you can actually go all the way back to Alpha 8 uh, with 7 Days to Die. I thought, hey, that would be kind of fun to do that. But the unfortunate thing is that I couldn't get Alpha 8 or Alpha 9 to work at all. Um, I tried it and uh, I was getting NRE errors and it just wasn't working. I was able to actually get alpha 10 to work, but, um, I, you know, I don't know. I kind of just figured, well, I don't know if I want to do that or not. So why, oh, I was going to say, why the hell can't I move? All right. Uh, let's do the fiber clothing here. So they want the pants. And they want, how come it's not, uh, okay, yeah, wear that. There we go. Uh, now it wants me to make the club. And we'll put the club in this slot. Move the... Actually, I'm going to move this over here because we're going to put the bow there. Uh, so we just need to find some feathers now. And uh, we got these little on-screen sprites that show us where things are at the very beginning, which is useful. Grab those. Okay, now let's make the bow and we'll make some arrows. Looks good. Um, while we're here, we might as well craft the hat and the shoes. And we'll wear those. We also need to craft the um, 
Oh yeah, the shirt and the hands. Okay. So uh, let's do the building block next. It wants us to do that. We'll do the fiber shirt. And where are the... Here are the plant fiber gloves. Okay, so that gives us all of our fiber armor for now. Okay, we'll set this down. Upgrade it. And it wants us to make a campfire. Put that down there. And then it wants us to go to the trader. Okay, so this is to the east and we are in the forest biome. So again, I only know this map um, from the original Navis game. And I actually don't think I've even played on Navis game since about Alpha 19 or something. Alpha 18, Alpha 19. Um, so I'm not even sure what the fun pimps have done to change Navis gain since, you know, Alpha 18 or 19. Um, and then, of course, this is the modded map. So even though I kind of have a general idea of the layout of Navis gain, I'm not, uh, not really that sure how, how it all is going to pan out. Um, oh, we got our points now, too. Okay, so let's do those next. <clears throat> all right, so what I like to do at the very beginning of any insane nightmare playthrough is I like to put a point into from the shadows because that give, helps us, uh, you know, from being detected uh, quite so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're going to also want to put a point into... Uh, where is cardio paint right here because that's just too valuable in the in the very beginning game uh, to not take it you know once we get to the point where we have vehicles and stuff like that then it's actually kind of a waste but until that point uh, it's, it's gonna actually help us quite a bit uh, I want to put one point into master chef so we can immediately you know start making um well, okay, yeah, that's right. We gotta find magazines, but it'll it'll be twenty percent less recipes and forty percent faster cooking. And then the final one that I think we'll do is I really I really like knives in an early game playthrough because of the bleed effect. But you know what? Why don't we why don't we give clubs a good a good try? We do, <clears throat> I don't usually do clubs, and um, I, I'm. I generally favor the sledgehammer and I actually found that I really like the stun baton uh, too from our last playthrough except for that it's got to be maxed out to be really effective so that's that probably we would, would be something we would do later on assuming we even survived that long um you know once we can put like the max points in and do like a mind wipe or something so let's go ahead and go with clubs um, I don't know. This feels like it's a mistake, but <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. We're going to go with clubs for this playthrough and, and really focus and zoom in on, on clubs. And we'll also, you know, put points into archery and some of the, and some of the mining skills and stuff too, as the, those points come along. Okay. I'm going to take just a moment, uh, to get a little bit more wood and a little bit more stone harvested up. And then, uh, I think what we might do is poke our head inside of this POI and see what's in there. Okay, let's make uh, 20 of these. And we'll keep those on the toolbar. In case we need them for some reason. All right, let's check this shopping cart. A couple of blueberries and we'll also check the mailbox. Okay, we got a Night Stalker book to uh, do an extra 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. And then that is, I'm going to hang on to it and see if we can sell it. Okay. I'm trying to get an idea of where we are. I don't completely recognize this place. Uh, actually, you know what? I th think I do kind of know where we are. There's a chicken over there. Um. All right. Well, let's see if we can... What we can do in this house uh, okay there's a vehicle magazine already we'll take the feather um i yeah yeah none of that stuff is really useful to us right now we have to be kind of selective about what we're gonna put in our limited inventory 
We're going to harvest this because it's going to give us wood and cloth. And let's actually take that cloth and make ourselves a bandana. Two cloth fragment. I have two cloth fragment, so why doesn't it let me craft that? Uh, what? All right, hold on a second. I need to, I need to turn the music off a little bit. That's just a bit, a bit too loud. In-game music volume. Let's turn that down. Apply. Okay. Um. What the hell, man? You don't have the necessary resources to craft this. It takes two cloth fragment. Wait a minute. You're oh, you're saying it takes 50 cloth to... What? Since when does this take 50 cloth fragments to, heart, to, to make? What in the world, man? I'm like totally confused. When did that change? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we won't be making a bandana right now. Uh, we will take this for sure. Uh, potato seeds aren't really doing us any good at the moment. Uh, neither is rotten flesh. Okay, let's poke our head into here briefly. Uh, this is a remnant, which means it isn't going to have a full complement of Zikaruskis in it, but it could still have uh, a few. So we got to be careful. So I'm a little concerned about what might be inside here. Can we put a, a blocking block down there? We can't. All right. Okay, can we do that? Yes, we can do that. Okay. Now, I don't know if that sleeper sound came from inside of here. Or if it came from up above or inside of here. But we gotta be seriously careful. There's a clothes pile. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. We can't quite reach that medical thing. Um There's a sleeper somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Uh nope. Don't want any of that shit. Remember, we got, we have one life to live here, so <laughs> gotta be freaking careful. Uh, it's possible that there's somebody behind here. Okay, so we're clear to go in here. Check this sports bag. All right, yep. Yeah. Uh, wait. I said I didn't want that shit. We make another arrow with that one. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think there's any zombies in here. Okay, I think we're clear here. Let's get some, hopefully, water. There we go. Medical. Uh, sure. Another sports bag. That's nice. We'll wear that. We'll sell that. Okay. So, we're clear up to here. So, probably the sleeper that we heard could be in this other room or could be upstairs. Let's check in here. Oh shit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna just tell you guys up front, I'm gonna use any and every tactic I can to survive. If you don't like me blocking doors, well then don't watch because I'm going to do it, and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay. Let's see if we can catch this dude on fire. Okay, let's get that. 
Let's actually upgrade these to normal wood. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, killed him. All right, we got our first zombie kill. Yeah, guys, so uh, there are a few people that have in the past complained about me blocking doors and stuff, but, you know, in the early game when you're playing on Insane Nightmare, you just got to do it or, or you're not going to survive. That's all there is to it. So there's a safe, but we can't do a damn thing about it. All right, let's poke our head in here again. And we've got a food pile. What is that? It's chicken. Are we hungry? Yes, we are. We might as well just eat this straight up. There's no reason not to. All right, and we'll check this. Excuse me. We definitely want the glue. And we'll take that stuff because we can sell it. Here's our first cooking magazine. I'm not going to take the goldenrod. I'm not going to take the spoiled meat. All right, cool. So that takes care of the ground floor. Oh, shit. That scared me. Okay, let's go upstairs. And, you know, the other thing I want to do, too, before we go upstairs is let's um upgrade these doors. Okay. See if there's any bad guys up here. Bad guys or gals. Alright, so nobody up to this point. We got some books. We have another sleeper though. Okay, that's robotics. We'll read that. Um let's reinforce both of these doors. And a gray armoire drawer. With stuff we don't need. Okay. Looks like this room clear. Shit. Oh, she's gonna be... Okay. Upgrade that. Let's put that on the wall so we can all see. And it's Arlene! Hi, Arlene! Yeah, I have, I have not used a, uh, a club in a very long time. Uh, we did actually try it out a little bit in the end game on uh, Apocalypse Ranger. And it was okay. I, I didn't mind it, but... Used as a, a, a primary weapon, it's been a long, long time since I've done that. Okay, we got a desk with some BDUs. We'll take those. We've got a nightstand with a college jacket. Very nice. Um, we'll keep the we'll keep the um, who's the was it for now? The puffer, but the college jacket is going to give us ten percent uh, movement speed. We might need the puffer though if and when we go into the snow biome. Let's get the, the cloth from this as well. Okay, and we have a duffel bag here. Dang, man. <laughs> and another coat. Okay, so the puffer was going to give us way more cold resistance, and the heat resistance is exactly the same. So that, we'll hang on to it for now to sell, but if we um, need to make some room, we'll just scrap it for the cloth. We should get, I think we'll get a pipe out of this, hopefully. We might need a pipe later on for a pipe weapon. Nope, we just got to... Uh, uh, we just got scrap metal from that. All right, I think that's all we can do in this house here. Did not check this armoire. Perception shades. Sure, why not? We'll take those. And I think it's time to go. All right, so it's 11.30. Um, Zombo's... I'm sure are going to be out, but I think the next logical thing for us to do, of course, is to start moving towards the trader. And, uh, that trader... Let's see, if we're going east... I have to think about this. If this map is set up like 
normal Navis gain. Can I sell this? No. Yeah, none of that is sellable. We can scrap these, though. Then that trader, I think, is Trader Bob. Or no, sorry, Trader Joel. But I can't, like I said, I can't say for sure because um, this is Navis Gain 21X. All right, so let's start moving this way. I'm going to continue to pick up stones because when we start to run into Zeke's out in the open here, we're going to try and avoid them as much as possible by distracting them with stones. we got 1.2 clicks to go. Okay, we've got some more POIs over this way. All right, so this must be the big lake. Yeah, with the two islands in the middle of it. Is Wait, is it? The, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's hard, hard to say for sure. That seems to be like the, uh, you know, the place that had the dock and everything. Let's open this up. Another overhaul I've been looking into is, um, oh, what the hell is that thing called? It is, hold on a sec. End Z. Um, end to Z, it doesn't really seem to change a whole lot about the game world but it does change a, a, a lot of, of things like um you know how you play the game gameplay mechanics is what i'm trying to say okay we'll take that that and that i'm gonna grab that for the moment just because you know we can potentially use it for selling uh, once we get to the trader let's grab this wood here um so Time to go. I don't know who's chasing us. But, uh, oh, we got another zombie. Okay. Um, but it, I think if I did in Z, I would also do it with some kind of a custom map. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got a bow zombo, and we also had. A female zombo of some sort. I can't tell from here who that is. There's an Egger. A bow is kind of fast and he kind of hits hard. So we probably would be further ahead to avoid him. There's a lot of places around here that we could be looting though. Let's get him further down the road so I can at the very least check these mailboxes. Okay, that's a Darlene. Oh, good. Clubs. That's exactly what we wanted. A Darlene's pretty fast. I'd rather not mess with her right now. Let's see if we can get her to bug her off. Okay. Let's check these other mailboxes real quick. Great heist, do 10% more damage to safes. And what do we got here? Night Stalker, never encumbered at night. Okay, very good. Both of those are pretty good ones. All right, let's check these automobiles real quick. Um, We'll take the glue for sure. The fuel isn't really going to do anything for us right now. Okay, we'll check the van here. <clears throat> Take those two things. And is this car lootable? It's not. Okay. Um, don't think I'll take the bones for now. 
Let's try this workbench. Look at that. Bang, nine forged iron. And we could sell those. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scrap. Well, how much does that sell for? Now, nah, let's not take that. Let's not take that. Um, and I'm going to scrap these. We just, we just cannot be encumbered right now. That is not going to work well for us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now that I kind of get an idea of where we are, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be Trader Joel off that direction. Um, so let's go ahead and move over that way. I sure like the, you know, faster movement speed that we now have in the Alpha 21 in the water. Okay, let's get our stamina back. Um, I think this is this island. I think I actually built the base on this island in Alpha 16. I, I wasn't at that point. It was before I started my YouTube channel, but I actually built a base on top of this hill. I think it was an Alpha 16 on this island. It was pretty good. It was fun. Things were a lot different at that point, though. I wonder if there's anything useful in this little dock area over here that we could check out. Let's just very carefully. Shh. Don't be making so much noise. Okay, there's a necker right there. Let's see what's in this garbage. Take that. Um. See. If, oh shit. Okay. No, we're not gonna be able to sneak around him. Arrow sandwich egger. See if we can whack him a couple times. There we go. Get our arrows back from headless egger. All right. Let's see if there's anything else we can loot here. Um, I guess we're hanging on to this for the nonce so that we can sell it. Nothing that way. I guess that's it for the boathouse here. There's some concrete and stuff, but that doesn't really do us any good right now. Alright, let's head on out. Go see if we can get to Trader Joel's. Um, if this map, again, is like normal Navis game, there's going to be some buildings just a little ways further down the road from Joel, uh, which we could potentially set up our base in, but I kind of like this lake area, so we might actually pick a POI around here and base up. In fact, we could even we could even maybe try and do a base at the boathouse, but I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Businessman Zeke over there, he's uh he's pretty fast, so let's not let's get him out of here. Let's see, do we have any feathers? We don't. Okay. More than likely, we're going to run into some Zeeks in this place, but let's just see what we can get away with. That will sell.
Alright, I don't see anybody down there. That's just going to give us gas, which isn't going to do us any good right now. Okay, I see a crawler on the dock over there. And some food. Let's upgrade this door. Okay. Kill this guy. Okay, another food magazine, some sham, which I think we're just going to eat straight up, and can we sell this at all? Yeah, we can. Problem is we're getting encumbered. Let's also eat the two blueberries. And we could put the knife down here and use it for a bleed effect. <clears throat> How much is this going to give us for that? Nah, you know what? Let's throw that out. We just don't need it. Uh, that's not really doing us any good either. That gives us a little bit of an extra slot. Okay. We do have a vending machine, but we can't afford anything inside of it. I'm sure there's going to be a zombo in here somewhere. All right, come here, zombos. Oh, you're gonna go that route, huh? Okay. Okay, she's dead. Let's drink one of these to get some stamina back. And we'll put a bleed on him. Repair that. Ow! Get a burn going. Oh, that works too. I don't want any of that stuff, man. All right. Shit. There's a weapons bag. Okay, let's get some bleeds on these guys. Nurse Nancy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Time to go. Okay, she's working her way back up the shore. All right, so, uh, There's a Marlene over there. A Marlene and a business guy. We don't want to mess... Get those guys involved. Okay. Um, our health is halfway down. I'm just going to take the bandage now because... One bandage in the hand is better than two in the bush. Okay. We did some damage to her. So... There we go. Okay, so she's dead. We still have the other Psalm. What's he doing? Oh, he's hitting on that door. Okay. Thought I heard something behind me. I 
did. Okay, there's another zombie somewhere. Marlene! I'm over here, Marlene. Oh, we got uh, Sneaky Pete. Or Tom. Tom, what's his name? Tom Clark. Okay, can they get up here? We got too many of them now. Get a bleed. Uh, oh no! I guess that killed it. Okay. Nice. So now I think we can go in here and loot the place. Well, I guess we have. Here, let's repair this. I guess we have a block. <laughs> All the doors blocked. So we'll break this one open. We'll get that weapons bag, and hopefully we'll get something good. Okay, archery, magazine, and bow parts. More water, that's good. And I guess that's it. Nothing else in here. Oh, I'm wrong about that. We got some, oh nice, look at that you guys. Okay. We actually have some iron arrows. And we have a passing gas crate here. I'm glad I looked up. Goodness. Okay, tools, salvage tools, and repair tools, and some oil. All right, I'm not going to wear these because they're just going to make me noisy and slow me down. Um, we might hang on to them, though, until we can get a full set of heavy armor. We'll see. But we need to get moving uh, on down the road to... Trader Joel, assuming this is Trader Joel, before it gets too much later here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we need to knock you down, lady. Okay, let's go. I'm going to take a water loot this. Nice, we got a vitamin. And she did. Whew. Okay. We got this. We got this. I need to be just a little bit more careful, though. That kind of came up over the top of that hill without making sure. I don't know, you guys, so I'm... We we will spec into clubs, but I think I should probably put my next point into knives. Look at that. Because um, there, it's just too damn effective in the early game here with its bleed effect. get rid of that because we can easily obtain it and I'm going to get rid of that and that'll make us thirsty if we eat it so let's get rid of that too so that way we're not encumbered at all it's five o'clock a little after five o'clock in the afternoon so we need a scooch I I heard something over that way yeah Edgar Edgar is easy to outrun. Problem though is when you're outrunning Edgar, you might run into somebody else. Which I think's already happened to us once. Don't care about coffee beans. Don't care about that shit. Not useful to us right now. I'm gonna 
put those there. Um, we'll turn that into an arrow. And let's trade places with those two. We'll put the food here. I'm just trying to make, make some more room is all. Uh, I guess we'll put the recog down there for the moment. Or maybe the vitamins. Okay, let's go. So there's some buildings over that way. Yeah, there's a Darlene over there. Shit. Darlene, you weren't supposed to uh, notice me. I don't know if we can outrun her or not. We're going to find out here. Yep, we got... We managed to outrun her. Good. Okay, let's get our stamina built back up. Stamina management is crucial in the early game. Just give us some health. It does. Let's just eat it right now. Because, you know what I always say, a can of chili in the hand is better than two in the bush. So this is definitely different than normal Naviscane. Uh, since we're here, we might as well grab those so we can sell them. Uh, that we could take the vitamin and then eat. Is there a sell price on that? Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, we'll take all that stuff. We need the stones. Shit. Those hurt. Phew. Okay. Okay, so it is Trader Joel. Hey, buddy. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's sell a couple things, and then we're going to... Um, I'm just going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to sell that. That's just not doing us any good right at the moment. Let's sell the fat. We'll sell the money. We'll sell the bow parts. We'll sell that. Uh, those, those. Plastic. Might keep the sewing kits. We'll keep the steroids. We'll sell that. Iron, or brass, and this. Okay, so that freezes up, freezes up some slot and gives us 646 coin. Um... All right, so a filter is fifth. Uh, no, that's right. They increased the price on that shit. Okay, so this is going to be a real high priority for us. It's been a real pleasure. Whoops. You watch yourself out there. All right, what time is it? Okay, we have a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and loot as much as we can. Uh, armor piercing 9 millimeter ammo, that's good. I think any of that stuff's lootable. Um, there is a... Here, let's get these books. Sniper. Chance to dismember. Okay. Handguns. Improves handgun ca uh, crafting skill. Here, let's put this back on so we can all see better, including me. All right. There's, like, supposed to be a secret or something down here. There we go. Get to the bottom room. Uh, that's shotguns, and that's clubs. Nice. Here are some better shoes than what we're wearing. A footlocker. Uh, we can wear that because it doesn't make noise or slow us down. There's another sandwich for food for us. Beautiful. Some sham. How about a cooking pot? That is not a cooking pot. Damn it, Jim. Okay, food magazine. Good. Cornbread and goldenrod tea.
Grilled meat and red tea. That is good. Very good. We'll take the potato. Another sandwich and a grill. We'll take that. We've got a medical pile here. Uh, some clothes. And we'll check the toilet for some water. Or paper. Alright. I uh, think that's all we can do in here. Okay, so let's quickly go around his property and loot whatever we can and sell sell back to him. I want to find uh, his workbenches because that's where we'll have a good chance of getting some magazines. Nothing in here, eh? Anything up here? Not really that I can see. Too bad we couldn't pick those veggies. But in vanilla, you can't. Because somewhere along the line, the fun pin's got this crazy ass idea that we should hit shit to loot it instead of just being able to pick it up. A change I've never been a fan of. Okay, here we go. Cement mixer. Another forge ahead book. And some oil shell, which we should be able to sell. Another forge ahead book. Nice. Some iron arrowheads. We don't need to play for now. Another automobile. Okay, that we're going to just take and sell for now. Here's some more water. And some beer. Okay. Another workstation. Ooh, look at that. Antibiotics and that 19 uh, cornmeal. Now that we can make cornbread, we should probably see if we can hang on to those. What's up here? This goes back into his store. None of that stuff's lootable. Yeah, Joel doesn't have quite as much stuff as some of the other vendors have. I think Bob's got the most shit. Um, okay. I'm going to use all my money to buy as much water as we can afford. Oh, that's lootable. And we got an ammo pile up here. And some water. Nice. Okay. Well, it's too bad we didn't find a cooking pot, but that's right. That'll be uh, a very high priority for us. So there's a couple more things we'll Let sell to this guy. For a while. Uh, let's sell this. Um, Let's see. What else would we want to sell? He doesn't want the paper. You know what? We're, we're probably not going to be going into the snow biome anytime soon. Well, I hate to... Yeah, we better hang on to those. Let's sell the iron to him, though. That we can eat in. So we will. Let's sell the oil shale. We're going to need to hang on to plastic for making our first water purifier thingamadoodle. So we're going to hang on to that. Uh, shit. I think we'll sell him the ammo, too, just because of room. Will he buy this beer from us? Yeah, let's sell that too. I think we should. I'm going to sell this just because it's got such bad water drain that we just can't afford to drink it. Everything else in here, I think we'll keep. Okay. Safe travels. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to take the first job from you. Um, <clears throat> so we got to clear to the Can west. Do me a Mushroom favor. Mining Co. Brilliant. I guess this. All right, that's it. We got to get the hell out of here. We have some zombos somewhere around, but I'm not sure exactly where. Can we bail off over the side here? Oh, look. I don't know, Okay, we got those guys there. Let's go this way. All right. So ideally, I think what we want to do is find 
a POI that's close to the trader. So let's go to the check out these POIs that are just kind of up north that we saw. Oh shit. Hey, get the hell out of here. Get out of here, yo. Because uh, we got to get a cooking pot. That's probably the next most important priority right now. Yeah. Bugger off, Edgar. Grab that to sell. Got a bird's nest there. Still gotta find that thing of honey. There's a Hawaii 5 0 up there. I'm not worried about him because he's even easier to outrun than Edgar. Still no honey. Just see if we can thread the needle here. Yeah, we got some POIs directly in front of us there. Let's see what's in here. You never know what's in the garbage. Sand. Not useful. Okay, we got another Edgar up here. And a businessman Zombo. Edgar, run away. Come on, man. Chase the stone. No, don't chase the old guy. Chase the stone. He's not cooperating. We got plenty of eggs to eat too, so and we can eat those raw if we have to. Alright, so what is this place? Oh, it's a radio station. You know, I don't think we ever actually did the radio station uh in uh, the last playthrough. I don't remember doing it. Okay, there's a rifle book. Got a Tom Clark over that way. I think we're going to bypass the radio station for now and go to one of these houses over here. And we'll probably just pull up on the roof and spend the night on the roof. Because it's just too late for us to do much of anything else. Remember, I got the Zombos set to Feral Sense at nighttime. So they become decidedly more dangerous at that point. Let's... Hmm. I don't know, that doesn't look like a very safe roof on that house. Why don't we hop up on top of this roof? Just don't know if there's a a way for them to get up here, like from the attic. Doesn't appear to to be that they can. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here then. Uh, we survived day one. Uh, so that's a pretty amazing feat in and of itself. We will continue on in the next episode, uh, see if we can survive day two. And probably the goal will be to go through all of these houses, find a cooking pot, and then decide which one of these houses will be our first base. Because this, this place makes sense. We've already got POIs. We're very near the trader. And uh, so, again, it'll just be a matter of determining which one makes the most sense for our first base. 
and then uh, we'll go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.